Call this meeting of New Iberia City Council to order. We have the pr prayer and pledge led by Council Member David Merrill. Thank you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, thank you for allowing us to make it here this evening. And may everything be done in decency and order. Amen. Amen. I pledge of allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Councilmember Natalie Wilbane. Present. Councilmember Peggy Giraffe. Here. Councilmember Robert Swear. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Dan Doyle. Here. Councilmember David Merrill. Here. Councilmember Raymond Lewis. And Councilmember Calvin Vagno. Here. Mr. Lewis probably wanted. Mr. Lewis, yeah, he wanted to make an announcement that he had surgery today, that uh, he couldn't be here this evening, but to keep him in his prayers. Okay. Okay, uh, the first agenda item is public comment, and I don't think that we have any cards that have been completed. The next agenda item is acceptance of the minutes of the Tuesday, February 16th, 2016 meeting, as published on Tuesday, February 23rd, 2016. Motion. Motion by Mr. Merrill. Second. Second by Mr. Swear. Is there any discussion? Any objection? No objection. Uh -huh. The only thing that I was uh, I wasn't here was about them safe sidewalk to school. Is this in the minutes? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a around okay. Pesso Elementary. Yeah, it's but safe I'm, routes to school. I'm wondering why because every child ride the bus to school. Every child unless they let the parents bring them. Because we got sidewalk we need to complete on Hopkins Street. But this was safe routes to school, <laughs> and it, it was a project we applied for. Oh, gosh, how, how many I years ago? I remember because I had actually some safe ones yeah. to school, too. That wasn't in the last minute. Yeah, it wasn't in the last minute, she was saying. Yeah, but I just want to see. Okay. It's on the, it, I know what it is. We'll talk about it during the budget okay. amendment. That's what it is. It's a budget amendment, Mr. Rack, which is next. But no children drive, walk to school. That's okay, um, um, is, does anybody else have anything else concerning the minutes? Any objection? No objection. Motion carries. The next agenda item, Mr. Rack, is the budget amendment, and we're amending the budget to include the Safe Routes to School grant that we've received. And it is for, I think it's around 250000 Oh, it's 259000 We need a motion. Motion. Motion by Mr. Merrill. Second. Second by Mr. Begno. All right, Mr. Rack, discussion? Yeah, I, I think, in a way, it's a waste of money because you don't see any kids walking to school, not even in my district, unless that kid is late for school and the parents got to bring them or they're in a car. We need the rest of the sidewalk on Hopkins Street safe route, period, and we not continuing in those. And I asked quite a bit ago why it wasn't being done. This is different, though. This is a different pot of money. This is safe routes to school, which they evaluate. Yes, it's through DOTD, it's a Safe Routes to School grant, and the sidewalks are placed in areas near schools, like we did at um, Baspet Elementary. But we do so have this a is not, in that we, area. Don't, we don't have the ability to take these funds and use them somewhere else. I know, unless the study, you apply for them. Right, the study was done for this area, which was an area of a school. Mm -hmm. Actually, we looked at Center Street at one time, and they didn't, when it's Center Street, they mm -hmm. didn't want the grant. Um, they didn't want it. They didn't want it. They didn't want it. So, you know, we can't extend the sidewalks on Hopkins Street with this particular grant. This grant is specifically for um, routes to school. The only thing is that is a school, and which uh, would be safe route to school. But like I said, the children do not walk to school, and. Uh, I thought still was applying for this. We should have applied for the grant. DDOT said there was money to finish it. I spoke at the convention too to certain people. There was money, there is money to finish the sidewalk. I don't know why they're not being finished and why we're hopping on 
safe route to school when the children don't ride their bicycle or walk. You follow what I'm saying? They don't, that bus bring them. <clears throat> so this is what I'm saying. We need to not put the cart before the horse before the, the cart before the horse. We need to try to use the grant wisely because pretty soon we're not gonna have any money. And I think sidewalk in the Hopper Street area, the way they were doing it, I was looking forward to it being finished. So we still have Hopkins Street School, but we took some money and did in front of Hopkins Street School. I don't want to think that we discriminating against our area. I don't want to think that. Because I asked for safe sidewalk to school, and I asked about the sidewalk. Okay, anyone else? Okay, I'll ask you to please vote your machines. Somebody took my pencil. Motion <coughs> carries unanimously. The next agenda item is property standards. And <clears throat> before we look at, we have one revisit. And before we look at that one revisit, Mr. Landry has a list of all of the properties that have been deemed necessary to yeah. demolish. Yeah. And he has cost, demolition costs to demolish these properties and if you remember last time we said we had 20,000 in the budget for demolition mm -hmm. and if we wanted if the council so chooses to demolish all the properties we'd have to take 23,000 out of the disaster fund mm -hmm. um, we have fi about 523,000 in that fund so it's up to the council as to whether or not you want to move forward we can take that out tonight man. with these that with a motion with a motion I'll, I'll for a motion no, I have a question Okay, wait, let's put a, let's put the motion on the floor. A motion by Mr. Swear to allocate the funds, uh, 20,000 from the compliance budget and 23,000 from the disaster fund to complete the demolition of eight, eight properties. Um, that's a motion by Mr. Swear. Do we have a second? Yes. Yeah, a, a second by Ms. Jarrett. Okay, I have Ms. Roban and then I'll, okay. I'll Ms. Roban. My question is just that um, <clears throat> the New Iberia Public Works, we have no bid for four of them. So. No, was, evidently, for one reason or another, he couldn't tell who. And some if of them had asbestos. Also. Okay, so do we have the option? Yeah, well, the well, city is, is way more, so yeah. it's not even practical. Anyway. Right. I, went, I went back to the first contractor, and if he gets all late. He's giving us, like, an overall discount, basically. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, so we don't have to go find extra money. We had the 23. He came down another $3,000 to be able to tear them all take down. take eight houses yeah. down. Right. Eight of them. Now, why couldn't you put that Sis Street project? I know where the man lives. That's, in the, that's going to yeah. be in the next batch. the original bid? The next batch, but the, 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 the no, bo no bid, no bid? Four to six? Yeah. No, that's going to be in the next, okay. coming up next. Okay. I have some more that are going to have to come to the council throughout the year. Okay. And that's one of them that's on it. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Merrill? That's my question. Uh, that's going to deplete the money that we have right now for the aid that we're talking about, plus taking the money out of that. So how are we going to build up money for the next batch you're talking about? Where's going to come from? Uh, in the next budget. It's going to have to be in the next budget, mm -hmm. unless you do yeah, a budget but, amendment. But, <laughs> How many houses do we have that aren't on this list additional to this, this eight? I want to say eight to ten more. Eight Maybe to ten more. We've got eight to and ten so more. So it's an average of, I mean, I'm averaging but I mean, right about five grand a house if you average it out. So we're going to look, we're going to need another depend. 40 to 50 that's depending depend on the materials of the house, correct? Yeah. Right. So but we're going to need another it'll... 40 to 50 come next year to finish right. all but, of them. But this is my we're thing, this too. This is L and K if we grant it. But but I hadn't finished. I hadn't finished. Okay, I know. Go ahead. I told him after. I'll okay. Right now we, we we don't have a lot of revenues that's coming in, so we're talking about the budget for next the next time. How are we gonna look at doing the budget for the next time with these if we don't have any revenues coming in? Where are you gonna get the money from? We may not be able to budget the money okay, to do them next year. I don't know, but we're not at the process. Yeah. We're, we're only looking at what we're ready to demolish well, at good. this current that's time good. to try and get those properties cleaned up that have been on the books for a long right. time. And I'm looking at that too. And 
you know, we'll you have, have to, to see what the budget to. looks like for next year. By the time we get to next November, we'll have to see where we are. The sales tax re revenue continues to decline. Hmm. That's, that's We're going to really that's, have to tighten our belt. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm looking at it realistically that we may not have enough money to be able to look into doing these other eight. What well, can we? Okay. Okay, wait, just I'm gonna get Mr. Bagno, then Mr. Dahl, then Ms. Robank. Can I have some clarification? Mr. Bagno? What do we have in the disaster fund at this time? Five hundred and about approximately five hundred and twenty three thousand. Okay. And we'll take twenty three out mm -hmm. to fund this batch of eight. Right. All and right. then we'll have a Explain half. Explain to me again, how do we put money in the the demolition fund? Don't we budget that every year? We budget a certain amount. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We budgeted we, twenty thousand. It's basically we budget twenty thousand from the general fund. Right. So next year, if the general fund doesn't, the general fund is not that strong. We don't budget the twenty thousand. If it is, we budget the twenty thousand, and we do what we can at the time. Right. We, I think it, this goes back to what Mr. Swear was saying some time ago. We can sit on this and never do anything, or we can at least try to do something a little bit at a time. I think this is an opportunity for us to at least look at this and say, okay, you know what? We can take twenty three thousand out. Let's supplement. Let's get these eight done. And let's get them out of the way. Let's, let's look at the list next year, or later in the year if things happen and we get a windfall, then we can yeah. look at it then. But I think that we need no to look at that. Um, yeah. you know. um, I have Mr. Dahl, and then I'll get you, Mr. Dahl, and then Mr. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy. Um, these houses, how long some of them been on the list? Do you have an idea? Frederick Frederick has been there hmm. like seven, eight years. Yeah. Okay. okay. So they've been there quite a few quite years. A few years. And um, right now we, we're selling some properties in the city that um, right now is on the market. Properties, yes. What happens is a possibility when we remove the houses and these lots are, are there that we could sell these lots at one point yeah. to recruit some of our money? Well, well out, of the, out of this list eight, uh -huh. seven of them are adjudicated. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we can sell them. There you so go. you're talking about we can, if we can make sure the money that we sell for this goes back to tear down more houses, then we can get more income. But we have to sometimes spend money to get money back. And I think this is opportunity for the investment of 23000 that we didn't budget, but we have to get opportunity maybe to sell these lots at a, all but one at a later date. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a positive thing for us to be able to get, you know, people can come and build a house on these lots and have more tax. So I think it's, it's a smart move on the council to do this. Ms. Robin? I'm sorry, Mr. Robin. I, I said this last time, I think we had to do it orally again. Can we go down the list and, and mark which house is for which district? I mean, that's kind of important to me because I don't think I have any in my district. <laughs> I know, but I just, I'd like to know. It makes a difference to me. Some people got more money for street than other people. No, I'm not, I'm not playing tit for tat. I just want to know where the houses are located. We can tell based them based on district people's opinion. Can. If Mr. Merrill is maybe, I see he's kind of on the fence and he's on the fence and six of these are his, well, I'm going to, his opinion might carry some more weight for me. Can we please just go through the list? Yep. Johnson Alley six. is um, six. 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 Renee. Mm -hmm. I think that's Miss Peggy's district. Two. Yes. Oh, yeah. Rosier is six. Six. Uh, Rosier is six. St. Jude's. St. Jude's. Mine. Mine. That's Miss Peggy's. Two. East St. Peter, that's Shudu. Yes. Um, 20 yes, Orphan is Mr. Lewis. Five. And the next two are mine. And Frederick. Okay. Can get it. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. That's all I need. Anyone else? And Mr. Bagnum? One last comment is we have to keep in mind that this L and K demolition gave us a discount because we packaged the eight. Yeah, in my right. And I've so, got all eight, eight of them on the screen, so you can look at the first well, one. Uh, they get that's Renee Street. That's the second. One. That's two forty three Rosier. Ten sixteen St. Jude. That's that's the back of St. Jude. Mm -hmm. St. Peter. <coughs> Oh, oh yeah. 20. And that's the one on Frederick. Okay. Yeah, uh, Mr. Landry. Okay, wait, just one second. One at a time. Mr. Rag, then I have Mr. Merrill, no. and then Mr. Bagno. I just up. want him to elaborate on 717 Toriac. I know what you're well, That's coming up next. Oh, yeah, okay. That's coming up next. <coughs> Thank you. Let's finish with this. Okay. Thank Mr. You. Merrill? I got another question as far as that. I think what you were saying about the money coming out of it, I don't have a problem with that part of it. I think proactive. 
It's just like if I have money in my checking account and I want to take the money out from my checking account, I don't know yeah. how I'm going to live the next several years. Hold on, Mr. Yeah. Swear. Let me finish saying what I have to say. What I'm saying is you got to have a plan for everything you do. Yeah. I don't have a problem with what you're asking to do. But I also, they got people watch this and they see where we at too and where we at with our city. You have to be able to know what you're going to do the next time. He still have houses on this list. Now my question is this too. We have some other property that we're looking at trying to sell to uh, affordable rent to home. Mm -hmm. If we make this transaction, can some of that money be put back into this fund for the tear down some of these houses? The council will have to make that decision okay. as to what they want I'm just to do. looking at other avenues because I don't want to wait till November. Mm -hmm. If we make a, a sale on this property, you know, that we're looking at, that we're trying to sell, I would like to be able to put some of that money back in where we can probably start doing maybe one or two of these other houses, you know, before we get to the end of the year. That's just what I'm just proposing. Yeah, I always try to figure out, you know, if I live next to it, Mr. Merrill, that house on Federal Street has been burnt now seven to eight years, partially right. burnt. And Jimmy can tell you how many calls he got from the little man next door. Well, yeah, we, we were trying to work with him for him to buy. And the but lady across the street was scared to death because people were going to sleep in there and all yeah. that. Just in the sheriff department and all that, you know. Oh, I understand. I understand yeah. that, Mrs. Swift. I understand that. It's been a safety It's not that. I understand that because we got a lot of other properties around the city in New Iberia that's just like what you talked about, that people are sleeping in and, and nobody's in there. But I just want to be able to know we have a plan to move forward after that to get some of these other properties out of the way. Bang them. Just two quick points. One is that yes, if we can, if we can sell some of the adjudicated property or after this cleanup, and something we can get some value in, as Mr. Doyle was saying, then we can put that money back into it. Then we may have another. If we sell these eight for, let's say, five thousand a, a lot, if it goes for that, you know, then you're looking at forty thousand dollars ready to do some more properties, and that's what this is costing us right now. So that's the first point. The second point is. Uh, Several of us had gone to the LMA conference this past weekend and had a nice little talk. In fact, Mayor, I think you were around there at the time with the mayor of Rain, who in his city recently tore down a whole bunch of properties in the last three or four years. And his point was, if you don't take care of the city, the city goes down. Mm -hmm. If you keep the properties up, your values stay up. So you need to keep that tax base there. And then he, he was right on point with it, which is what we've been trying to do with all these properties. So I think we need to continue working in that vein, work forward and say, let's continue keeping our properties up. So thank you. Mr. Dahl. Mayor, you know, talking about the properties we have <coughs> for sale now, I think Jimmy mentioned that there's some properties is even getting more of a bid process than they, we thought they were worth. So I think it's an opportunity because right. people are looking for affordable lots in the city. Mm -hmm. And unless we move the, the, the condemned houses, we can't get that opportunity. So I think it's a win-win. And I think uh, I think right now people can go and bid on some properties in the city now. It's still right. open for that, correct? Yes. Definitely. And they can come to City Hall, Mayor, at 4th floor? I, I have a list in my office. Jimmy has a okay. civic source. I have a civic, civic source. Civic source. Jimmy has a list. Civic source. Because I gave quite a few out of the copies you gave me. And, and then we also interested. have... Last month, last meeting, y'all voted to allow Pat exactly. Caffrey right. to That's the I'm advertise talking. Yeah. some properties. So hopefully so, we'll sell. It's a win-win because yeah. all we're doing is maintaining the property, and we. I agree totally. Mr. Rack, right. uh, Mr. Landry, <coughs> you, I was I have been familiar with you for tearing the house down and not leaving the property in good condition. Will this man be sure <coughs> to take all the pipes and the? He's been he's been yes. doing he's done some of the other ones that we did in the last batch. Okay. Did an excellent job. Yeah, I know because yeah. you know they did a few in my district. That's that's the same company. That's right. That okay. Did, did those. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Just okay. as a reminder, the motion on the floor is to take um, the twenty thousand that's been dedicated in the compliance department for demos and use that money and add to twenty three thousand from the disaster fund to total the 43,000 to demo these eight properties. And I'd ask you to please vote your machines. Motion carries unanimously. Also, we have one revisit and it's 717 Toriac Street. Yes, that's the one I want Mr. Lander to elaborate on because I met with the community about the house. So I want you okay. to just elaborate so they could hear what's okay. the house. Okay, the owner lived in the house. And 
from what I've researched, he passed away. There's no succession, no no children that I could find in the clerk's website. Uh, so we send the letter to the house that the assessor has on his list as the owner. He keeps coming back unclaimed. The, nobody has taken responsibility for the house. It is adjudicated. So it's all adjudicated in this for sale? Yep. The tax. Nobody's paying the tax. I want them to be aware of this. So maybe some of them want to buy the property. I just don't, I just don't remember how many years it's been adjudicated. You see, if it's been over five years, then civic source yeah. can get the so, list. Okay. Jimmy, I got a question. Thank you, Jimmy. Mr. Merrill? What, 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 Ms. Peggy? What's your recommendation? What, Ms. Peggy? Oh, well, what, last what? month I had recommended to demo it, and they asked me to wait 30 days. Demo? So, the demo. Demo? Motion by Mr. Rack Where to demo. Second? Do we have a second, and then we'll discuss second. it? Right, second by Mr. Emergency. Swear. Mr. Merrill, discussion? Yeah. Um, it's basically about Bank Street, the one that Dr. Adele was supposed to buy that I had that we had boarded up. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Can we finish on this one? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. That's fine. All right, that's, that's okay. We'll we'll come back. Um, any further discussion on Tory Act? Okay. Okay. I would ask you to vote your machines as to whether or not you would like to demo. A yes is to demo so the prompt. Demo. For the Motion carries unanimously. Okay, um, Mr. Merrill, if you have another question, I'm, I'm, he's going to get with me. I'm going to get with him tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Um, announcements. The next city council meeting will be held on March 15th, and we had a meeting today with the engineers for Armand Co. Canal, and it should be completed by the end of April at the absolute latest. There were some delays due to weather. End of April is the absolute latest, and it should be complete, and we'll have a ribbon cutting. and. Ms. Yeah, can you let the public know what's going on on St. Peter Street? I'm getting so many calls. Good. But I'm oh, thank you. It's Everybody is like, what is going on on St. Peter Street? <coughs> LACO is, that's the LACO project. Well, there's a lot of utilities. There, uh, well, part of it's LACO change in the last week where the street the has been closed, Entex yeah. is running a new gas yeah. line. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they had to close the street because they're boring and it's safe. Do we have a time frame that this is? I'm not sure. I'd have no. to get with you on this, but I do know. They told us they'd have it finished before they're ready to come. We told them it was three months, um, January, February, March, probably April or May. They should come in and start with the street program with the state. So hopefully they promised they'd be finished by then. So I'm so not sure. So there's going to be ongoing there's work on, it's right ongoing. now that's going to be on It's ongoing. We just need to get used Peter to it. For now, for a couple of months, yeah. so some people yeah. know. Right. They can't, they're changing some of the galvanized gas pipes. The old, the old, old gas old pipes. Gas pipes. Are, are getting bad, so their strength, they're changing stretches with the new PVC pipe. Okay. pipe. Y'all jumped the gun a little bit. I wanted to elaborate on the Armaco Canal. I was not able to go take pictures with y'all because it was real, real cold, and I was in a bad way. I just couldn't get up. But three days later, I went visit the Armaco Canal. I went all around, I spoke to the engineer, and um, I'm on the impression that the pump will pump a hundred million a, a, a gallon of water a minute. But we have one problem in the back that may hinder us. That Armaco Canal have to have bigger pipes on it, and it's got to open out into that field for the water to go that way. I'm asking the city to send a letter, which I sent a fax to the parish, asking them to take care of that uh, uh, so that we could have a, you know, a, a clear waste for the water to go. You're Not saying to clean out the canal? Huh? To clean the canal? Yeah, now. He said now. He said <clears throat> it's not his job. I think they said that today. Yeah. Huh? They talked about they that. They thought they, the they think the parish is coming in to clean the and, canal. Yeah, because I've, I've been to the parish, too. I spoke with Mr. Lee uh, Richard and Mr. Pollard. And we going, I'm going to show it to him tomorrow. And uh, that dirt that they stockpile, those people are furious. That's for the parish again. But my people, the dirt is going under their house and the water, and soon the foundation, their house is going to start so, uh, uh, sinking, you know? So I think that needs to be whoever got the dirt, I think, I know who, but he's not going to sell all that in a little while or move it a little further. I'm not being ugly, but, you know, it's a and supposed to mudslide. Yeah, we'll you check know? it. It's, it's real high. Mr. Ray. And, the, and what about the fence and the lighting around there? It's going to all be finished the, by the end of April. Okay, the, whole, the entire project should be complete. And somebody going to man that? 
Oh, not mistake. all the time. No, no, no. 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 Uh, we have a. We're going to have a, a system. A SCADA is that what you call it? System mm -hmm. that will be at the wastewater department where and they'll someone, monitor it electronically. They may have to go out there yeah, manually just, at times. Yeah, it's somebody from the but we're going to have a system that will be monitored mm -hmm. um, electronically. Let's make that it's, a sure thing. it's all automatic. Okay. Make sure we got that in writing. Thank you. Okay. Ma'am, the, the street program, can you elaborate on what's going on on that? Oh, I don't have the list in front of me right now. Of what? The, the, uh, the, the street, street program. program they're working on silver. They're getting ready to work on silver. I got a letter that's today my that street. they were going to Silver on that. Street. And Bradley they're Lane. They're working on pine. <laughs> they're working on Bradley Lane. They were doing some soil <coughs> testing. This Le Le Leroy is not here. They're doing soil testing, I think it was, on Leroy, uh, on um, Bradley pine and i know silver street and then they're going to go on and complete andrews and 20 orpent that's good news if i remember because <laughs> you know correctly. i'm getting a lot of calls and then the striping will be completed at the end of the project and good. there's still some work that has to be done on das but they're, yeah, they're working on the uh, uh, the curbing and stuff right there's now, still some work to great. complete on das but good, good. Thank mr you. rack uh, i'm wondering why we're <coughs> giving uh st pete and man street Overlay when Hopkins Street was in the deal. It is going to be overlaid, but um, St. Peter and Maine is going to still belong to the state. We are not taking the, those streets into our program. And as soon as they complete that, they're going to overlay uh, St. Peter, I mean, Hopkins and the other streets that we're going to be taking in Parkview. part of Oak, Parkview, um, Ashton. Those streets will be overlaid. That'll probably be next year. Next year. And once it's all completed, then then the city will take over that's Hopkins and. Okay. That's what I But they're understand. doing Maine and St. Peter first. That's the first part of the plan. Yeah, but some of St. Peter and Maine is in my district. Motion, motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion. This is never been opened. Oh, the good news, I think. Yeah. Thank you.